Act One, Scene Three of Romeo and Juliet takes place in the Capulet house just before the ball. Lady Capulet has the nurse call for her daughter. Juliet enters and Lady Capulet dismisses the nurse, but then calls her back to add her input. The women discuss Juliet's age and the nurse reminisces about Juliet's growing up, remembering a crass joke her late <laughs> husband made about Juliet. Lady Capulet and Juliet both tell her to be quiet. Turning to Juliet, Lady Capulet asks her how she would feel about being married. She is not very enthusiastic about the idea. It is an honor that I dream not of. Her mother advises her to start thinking about it since Paris wants her as his bride. Lady Capulet and the nurse praise Paris for his good looks and tell Juliet to watch for him at the ball. Juliet politely agrees, albeit still unenthusiastically. A serving man arrives and announces the party, and they head there. Juliet reveals herself to be a measured thinker and speaker. She is not unsettled by the nurse's recollection of her late husband's bawdy joke. When speaking to her elders, she does so cautiously, expressing her wishes carefully even though she can't impose her will. Her restraint contrasts starkly with Romeo's frenzy. This time, the scene explores the relationship between male beauty and love. The older women praise Paris for his beauty, but use metaphors like wax, flowers, and a book. These metaphors suggest his beauty is fragile. Wax melts, flowers wilt and die, and books are delicate. Still, the women dwell on Paris's beauty as his greatest asset. The scene also begins the play's lengthy consideration of marriage and what makes a marriage ideal. The nurse and Lady Capulet consider marriage the ultimate goal.